Hi everyone, George here, and I'm at Jeff's place again. Check out the travel vlog uh, featuring Jeff. Today, we're going to rescape this tank here. We've got loads of new hardscape, loads of new plants. I'm gonna keep the substrate. Um, yeah, take you through the whole process. Hope you enjoy it. Hit the like button if you do. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And leave us a comment. What other fish should Jeff put in here? Plenty of healthy plants in here already, but the composition is a bit chaotic. We've got loads of beautiful wood here. I'm not gonna use it all, but we've got some choice pieces. We've got some Sirius stones and black lava to choose from. Like I said, we're gonna keep the soil. We're gonna drain most of the water down, but there'll be enough to keep the livestock healthy and, and alive, of course. And it'll be a case of taking out all the hardscape, all the plants, and then reconfiguring everything. So, exciting. So that's the rough hardscape in place. I think I've used three or four pieces of this beautiful driftwood. It is going to want to float, so I've deliberately positioned the stones to weigh it down, but also hopefully to look good as well. You can see the strata of the, of the rocks there all kind of lining up. Got a couple of rocks here to get a bit more balance to the right, and then a, a final off piece here on the left. So the overall kind of hardscape composition is, is relatively simple, but quite impactful as well. So next it will be preparing the plants and planting. So here I have a combination of uh, Micranthemum Monte Carlo and uh, Eleocharis parvula. These were um, obtained at the auction at uh, the Aquatic Gardeners Association convention yesterday. So we'll plant the Micranthemum and the hair grass now just along the foreground to create a nice, to create a nice foreground lawn. So that's the foreground carpeting plants in. Now we want to add a dash of red. So we've got some Altenanthra Reinekii Mini, and I'm going to position that around here, which is around about the rule of thirds. So it's going to be a nice uh, aesthetic balance, nice focal point, adding a nice bright red bit here. And also it's positioned directly underneath the light. So it should bring out that red pigmentation really well. So yeah, next we'll just plant that in there, nice and easy. So it's really great that I can kind of pay it back with scaping Jeff's tank for him because he's just been such a legend at hosting me and showing me around and looking after me basically. Um, and also grateful to the AGA and to the Chicago Aquatic Plant Society for hosting such a great convention here in Chicago. It finished yesterday evening and uh, now is a few days between that and Aquashella, which is the next big thing that's happening this weekend. So it's Monday today. We've got a few other plans this week before Aquashella as well. Some other aquarium related videos coming up. We're fully planted now. So it's looking great, I have to say. I'm impressed with the, the plants that we've got and it's just the right amount, I think. There's a few different species of stems that I've never actually used before. Um, can you remember the name of the serrated hygrophila? Uh, um, no, I'll have to look it up. I yeah. have, it's on the back, we'll look it up. Yeah, and then there's uh, Ludwigia inclinata, um, uh, Rotala nangensen. Um, yeah, and there's uh, also hygrophila araguay in its immersed state, that's here. Uh, so there's yeah, lots of plants in their immersed state, so it's going to take a little while for them to transition. But we do have some mature Anubias. Um, and then with frequent water changes, good CO2, good lighting, good fertilisers, the plants will transition no problem. And we'll get a really lovely scape in a few weeks or so as they grow in. But yeah, next step is just fill up with water. I'll probably do a water change after the first fill, in fact, just to rinse, wash all of that excess organics away. Okay, tank's filled, filter's running, CO2's running, water's relatively clear. Are you happy with it, Jeff? Very happy with it. Can't wait to uh, send you pictures throughout the, the growth. Yeah, man. I think I'll be coming back here every year to Chicago. We'll do it again. So we can do, like, updates. New scapes. I really like it. You're gonna put more fish in there, do you reckon? Oh, for sure. I think we're gonna do some more neons and maybe like a maybe a ram or something. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see how the stems grow. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, well, that was a most growth, right? Yeah. 
put it back. We'll get it back. Yeah. So thanks for watching everyone. Thanks to Jeff for letting me rescape his tank for him. Of course, my pleasure. Uh, it's been awesome. And um, we'll see you at Aquashella. Absolutely. Yeah. Take care everyone. Cheerio.